Hey, this is Pete Griffin, and I'm here with Stan Cody with the Fender Pedals team. What you just heard is the Fender Downtown Express pedal going straight into the Rumble 100. The Downtown Express bass multi-effect has everything you need for killer bass tone, all the bass essentials in one box. I'm gonna have Stan walk you through it. Thanks, Pete. The Downtown Express is kind of a one-stop shop for bass players. Uh, the pedal was designed by Alex Aguilar, who's pretty well known in the bass world. Um, it's got some cool features. It's got a studio style, so a true RMS compressor. It's got an overdrive that's specially voiced for bass and has a cool cabinet simulator as part of it. It's got a three band EQ. And then there's some really cool convenience features. There's a DI output and you can select where it comes from. And there's a tuner mute foot switch and a separate tuner output. So up top, you heard me playing through the overdrive pedal, but we've had the drive a little low. So let's, uh, let me play around a little bit more and we can show what else this thing can do. Crank it up. So it can get from pretty lightly driven to pretty massively driven. Yeah, that's massive for sure. <laughs> yeah. This has a cool thing where uh, Alex built a cabinet emulator into it. So if you're playing it through a modern bass amp with a tweeter, a lot of distortion pedals would get really fizzy. Mm -hmm. And so this doesn't do that. This stays Seems natural. Seems to tame it a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's great. And you mentioned this before we started rolling, but the other thing is it doesn't rob the low end. Alex is really careful to preserve all the low end fundamental stuff from the bass. Yeah. All right, so we heard the overdrive. Uh, show me this compressor. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm really into compressor from my slap playing this recently, so maybe you can tell me more about it. Cool. This is a studio style compressor, so it's a true RMS type, and the difference is, you know, versus a typical guitar stomp pedal, is a guitar stomp pedal just listens to the peaks. This act actually listens to how loud you're playing and, try and, and uh -huh. evens out the overall playing volume. So. Um, Feature-wise, it's got a threshold control, which of course sets the amount of compression. It's got a gain control, so sometimes when you compress it, it's actually turning the volume down, so the gain control helps bring it back up again where you can hear it. And then there's a blend control, and you can blend from 100% your original bass tone untouched to 100% of the compressor or kind of anywhere in between. If you use too much compression, it, it's neat because you get almost backwards kind of swell effects or you get really cool dynamic things, but sometimes it takes a little bit of the life out. Mm -hmm. So blending in your original attacks um, really helps kind of bring some normalcy back to it. Cool. So, yeah, if you want to play, I'll, I'll just All right, let's try it out. So you heard it go from kind of natural, where it was just on some of the notes you were playing, to pretty full-on smash. Yeah. And then I blended some of the original tone back in again. But it's also musical and usable. Like yeah. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't get in your way. Hopefully no, it not helps, at all. helps a little bit. Yeah. Cool. How about the equalizer? The equalizer is a three-band equalizer. So it's got treble control, a mid control, and a bass control. And the cool thing about this equalizer is the mid band is done with an inductor. So there are some classic bass amps from the 60s and 70s that used inductors as part of the mid-range tone control, and it has a particular sonic signature that's really cool. Maybe we should check it out. Yeah, sounds good. Very cool. I really like how this particular tone with the, the mids dumped a little bit. It might be good for, for some kind of slap thing. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. I may have found my new favorite slap tone. Hey, while we're here, let's just talk about the convenience features of this thing. So we mentioned it's got a DI output. There's a switch on the back that allows that DI to come from different places. So you can assign it to where it just picks off the straight signal from your bass, mm -hmm. or you can set it to where it's after the effects, or you can set it to where it's after the effects and the EQ. Oh, wow. And what's cool about that is, is you can use the EQ just for your bass amp on stage, but keep the front of house to be able to have their own equalizer, which is kind of a cool feature. Mm -hmm. There's a master volume control, so if you're you know mid gig and you need just a little more, a little less, you can just reach down with your foot and kick it. And then there's a separate tuner output, so you can have a tuner that's always on and not in your signal path. Some tuners have this way of magically making things sound worse going through them. Mm -hmm. So this keeps the tuner off of that. And there's a mute foot switch over here, so you can silently tune. Great. Yeah. All right, well, there you have it. That's the Downtown Express bass pedal. It's got a ton of great tones all in one box. It'd be awesome for when you're playing a backline gig and you're not sure what amp you got, so you know you'll still sound killer. Check out the full line of Fender pedals at Fender.com and stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you soon.